Welcome back to the presentation podcast. I'm Cleva. I'm Laura. And I'm Mira. And so this week we decided to do something um, a little bit kind of different. So we decided to interview some teachers, um, six actually, and we done get to know the teachers. So we interviewed Mr. O'Brien, Mr. Walsh, Miss Coughlin, Miss Mahin, Miss Murphy, and Miss Morris. We hope you enjoy and enjoy getting to know the teachers a bit better. What is your full name? Does that mean middle name as well? Oh God. So, you know my first name is Jessica. <laughs> my middle name is, I don't want to tell you, Pia. <laughs> like Pia Mia, it's quite cool. <laughs> and Mahin, so it's Jessica Pia Mahin. My full name is Aoife Cochran. Um, Sean Michael Welch. Uh, Darren O'Brien. So my full name is Sean Marie Murphy. Like as in middle and everything? Yeah, everything. Oh God. Lauren, Mary, Elizabeth, it's Morris. Where are you from? So I'm from Offaly, the best county in the world. And I have moved to Cork for my master's. So for the last two years I've been stuck here. <laughs> I'm from West Cork. Uh, Cass Gregory in County Kerry. I'm from the north side of Cork City. I'm from County Tipperary. Do you need any more specific details? <laughs> <laughs> I'm North Kerry, like Ballyduff, it's up the top. What subjects do you teach? I teach art and only art, and it's great, and you all love it, I know. <laughs> I teach history, geography, and I do career guidance and also counselling as well. Geography and maths. Uh, I teach maths and history. I teach geography and English. Uh, English and geography. If you had to teach one other subject, what would you teach? Well, originally when I went to school, I was told that you wouldn't get anywhere with art and I was going to be a German and Irish teacher. So for my masters, I did obviously art for teaching, but along the side, I was doing Irish courses so I could teach Oscaroga. I'd love to be a um, business teacher. Yeah. I think that's a, a nice subject to teach, a bit entrepreneurial and stuff like that, so it would be interesting. Um, probably woodwork. Uh, Italian. I'd say I'd teach history. I loved it in college and I loved it in school as well. Um, I'd probably teach art. It was my favourite subject in school. Where, where did you go to college? So I, first I did a PLC because I was 16 going into leave and cert which is quite young, I know. And then I went to Limerick for four years, so LSAD, best art college there is. And then I took a year out and I went to Crawford for two years, which is thankfully just finished. <laughs> oh, uh, good question. I went to college, I was a long time in college. Um, so I went to UC for nearly seven years. I did a degree and three postgrads there and I did a postgrad in Maynooth University most recently so I'm like Van Wilder but you might know who that is. <laughs> Someone who loves going to college for a long time. I did um, went to Mary Immaculate College in Limerick and then I did my HD at the time in Hibernia and then I did a postgrad in UCC after that as well. Uh, I went to UCC I went to college in Mary I, so Mary Immaculate College in Limerick, and then I'm now doing my master's in UCC. UCC. What other jobs did you consider before teaching? I don't think I really considered anything else. It was kind of like when I was in primary school, we had to fill out this little, like what I want to be when I'm older. And we got to open it when we were leaving the school, which was actually mad. And I had written down that I wanted to be an artist, which is still so mad in my head. like. Um, so it's, it's always been art related in my head, but teacher has always been my dream job, whether it was Irish, German or art, it was always going to be a teacher. Uh, before teaching, yeah, I, well, I wanted to be a nurse when I was in fifth year. I'm definitely, that's what I wanted to be. Um, and then I decided I'd be a guard. And then I said my passion for teaching and went with that. Um, I was going to be a builder actually, um, but it was around 08 when I qualified or when I finished the leaving and the recession kicked in and there wasn't much work in that kind of line and I said I'd go. But then I had other kind of had teaching head too, like I like working with other young people or whatever and um, 
yeah, that's kind of yeah. The teaching was always kind of on the cards as well. Um, I always wanted to be a teacher. Really, I didn't have any other idea. I wanted to be a vet, and then I swiftly found out I'm afraid of blood, and <laughs> I'd be crying a lot in that job. So that it changed fairly quickly to teaching after that. Um, I only had one other job that I considered, and that was veterinary. So it was between veterinary and teaching. How many siblings? <laughs> well, <laughs> yes, I do. I have an older sister, older brother, and a younger brother. But by younger, I mean like he's 23, so <laughs> he's still fairly old. Siblings, I have four older brothers. So the youngest, and uh, it's a good position to be in, but... Yeah, I have two brothers and a sister. I have four brothers. I do, I have one brother. I have one brother, he's 22. Do you have any pets? I, well not with me here, but like say a family pet. We have a little Pomeranian and he has like a little lion haircut. So he's a little, like, you know, fluffy tail and like skint for the rest of it. He's about that height, like he's so cute. Pets, yeah. Uh, well, I have to share it with my parents, but uh, Holly the Collie. <laughs> no. We have a cat. <laughs> One dog. Yeah, I have a dog called Roxy. Um, all my cows are my pets and I have two dogs, a Yorkie and a little terrier kind of mutt. <laughs> how long have you been teaching in this school? In this school, how many months is it now? Is it nine months I think? Since September anyways I've been here and I think just about three weeks left. Um, God I've been in this school now for, yeah so I started when six years started, so I'm here six years now so I'm sad to see them go now this year. Um, this is my fifth year here. I've been teaching in this school for since 2004, so that would be 16, 16, 17 years. A couple of months, but it's, it feels like years. <laughs> um, I've been teaching here, what, two years now? Yeah. Do you consider yourself a strict teacher? <laughs> Do you consider me a strict teacher? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, well, like, I'd, I'd expect respect, and you all know that, everyone knows that, who has had my class. Um, I'd be strict that way, if you don't show me respect, I'd be strict. But other than that, I'm the most laid-back, calm teacher you'll come across. <laughs> uh, it depends who you're talking to, but I think the way I like to see myself anyway is firm but fair. You know, I'm always fair with students, I think that's really important. Uh, probably not, I don't think no. <laughs> Probably not enough, actually. But, uh. <laughs> I wouldn't think so, no. Am I? <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> um, I feel like I should say yes, but I don't think I'm too strict. I have my moments, I think. But overall, I wouldn't say I'm the strictest. But I, I think you all know not to cross me. I think that's, yeah, pretty much the outlook I have. What was your favourite and least favourite subject in school? Favourite was art. Well actually I loved I loved Irish, just my teacher was so scary. But I loved Irish, it was so good. Um, my least favourite was history and English. The two of them together, I just, I can't. <laughs> oh, uh, for me geography was my favourite and hence why I became a geography teacher because my teacher was just fabulous. He made geography so entertaining and was fun. Um, and my least favourite was definitely maths. It's just not my forte. And if you speak to my six year geography students, they'll agree with you. Um, I was bad at French and therefore didn't like it. Um, and you know, I really like construction studies then actually uh, for leaving. Like that was woodwork kind of, woodwork for junior start construction for leaving. I like geography. I also like maths as well. Um, Geography, Woodruff, Maths, it was my three favourite ones. Oh, my favourite was um, Irish, I'd say, and my least favourite was English. I hated French with a passion. Apologies to any of the French teachers, just couldn't, I just hated it. I wasn't too fond of maths either, and religion. So boring. Sorry. <laughs> and what was your favourite as well? My favourite was geography and English were my favourites since I'm teaching them I suppose. My favourite was art or technical graphics, like DCG, you don't have it here but 
and it's like architecture and then we had computers with it and then I did art outside of school for my leaving cert and I loved that I used to do it all day every Sunday and my least favorite um, try not to offend any of the teachers now um, I would say my least favorite was probably like languages like French and Irish and I know it's unusual that I'm a, an English teacher but I just couldn't yeah I just couldn't grasp French or Irish What's your favourite part about being a teacher? It's just passing on my knowledge to other students, obviously, to help them out. Um, obviously, helping everyone would say it's, it's to help. That's kind of the most generic answer. Um, but like, I get excited about learning new things, and then if I get to pass this on to someone else, like the fact that you're even recording, like my whole background is videoing. So I love this, like. Um, so it's just passing on what I know onto others and make the most out of it. Um, my favourite part about being a teacher I suppose enjoying the good days you know it's not all about you know in, in class and it's about the activities that you enjoy outside of school as well going on tours you know going on geography trips and just enjoying time and getting to know students a bit better um, my favourite part would be I'd say interacting with the students I like dealing with the students my favourite part would be uh, when students kind of enjoy their subject or when they finally understand something that they found difficult. Um, I found that quite a lot of stuff difficult in school so it's nice if someone's there to, to help them. Um, Alright, I think getting to see all of you every day is nice, getting to kind of talk to you and find out what's going on in your lives as well as my own. Um, I think how like much obviously number one talking because i love to talk and that's clear and number two like how interactive it is like every day is different and i never really know what you're going to throw at me every day and i think yeah i enjoy how interactive it is yeah what is your biggest pet peeve with students <sighs> oh god what is my pet peeve well if it's art related if they're smudging the page that absolutely drives me nuts like so i hate that um if they are talking over me that's i know you're gonna i'm gonna lose my mind like i just can't if i'm talking and someone's literally shouting over me or shouting loud noises anything like that this doesn't work for me oh there couldn't be any could there um i suppose a big thing for me and it really gets to me if i see people littering and just making absolutely no attempt to pick up after themselves and even when I see it just in public itself, it's really, I just don't like littering. Oh, <laughs> um, what is my um, I suppose talking about a turn is, is annoying like that. Um, yeah, that would be my pet peeve, I'd say, yeah. Um, God, that's a good question. Um, <laughs> Nothing really comes to mind. Maybe not having homework, but yeah, that's part of it. <laughs> <laughs> Students, oh, just not do your homework. Just do your homework, please. It takes 10 minutes max. And the day goes a lot smoother when the homework's done. Uh, pet peeve. Oh, I have loads. Um, when you come in with the gel nails and you're like, that's my number one, I'd say. Um, Number two, when you're unresponsive, when I ask a question, you're just sitting there mute. <laughs> At the awkward silence that follows the mute when I ask the question again. Um, I, there, I have a long list. Um, <laughs> I won't keep going, it'll look bad. <laughs> if you look bad. <laughs> if you could travel to any country in the world, where would you go? Hmm. I always wanted to move to America. That was always my dream but now i'm a bit like everyone says that <laughs> so I, I actually don't know like i i don't know where's next to be honest i have no idea everywhere really <laughs> um i'd go back to du uh well uh, dubai i think it was a lovely area and um actually do you know if you country italy i think italy's a beautiful spot as well if i could go anywhere in the world where i go um I'd like to go to Australia, like I've never been to Australia, a lot of my friends have been there, um, or New Zealand maybe. So probably Australia, yeah, it's kind of one of my to-do lists maybe. Um, 
I like Italy, so I'd probably just go to Italy. You can't give me that. Really. <laughs> <laughs> I would love to go to Hawaii. That's on my bucket list. Um, South America is next on my list, so maybe like Brazil, like maybe see the rainforests and things like that. Yeah, South America is definitely next. I'd love to do a big trip around. If you won a hundred million euro, oh. what would you do with it? <laughs> well, I would give some to my family first. I wouldn't take it all for myself. And then I just buy a house for myself. That's all I want. I love my own space. I love designing and I just love to design my own house and set it up there. Oh, buy the school, um, <laughs> put in a big giant slide, swimming pool, get the best of facilities here and enjoy it with all my good colleagues and, and good students. I would, um, oh, that's a loaded question now. Um, I give lots of money to charity and I then um, do up the school, then I buy myself a nice house, a nice car, and I would reduce my timetable as a teacher by half. Ah, <laughs> uh, you couldn't spend that. Um, <laughs> I'd, I'd share with my friends and family, um, and probably continue to work, or at least work part time. Um, I don't think you can spend 100 million, and you give to charity, because there's no way you can spend 100 million. Mm -hmm. Well, I'd take care of my family and friends, so you donate a bit to charity, and then I'd go travel. <laughs> um, I probably thought about this. Um, first of all, I would buy a new farm for my dad, and I'd put in a farm manager, so I'd have like proper cows milking all the time. Um, I'd travel the world. I would probably sort out all my family. Um, but yeah, the number one I thought about this is I'd sort out the farm at home. Yeah. What would your last meal be? Oh god, definitely steak. I love steak. Um, now I can just think about steak. <laughs> <laughs> no, no lunch. <laughs> um, oh god. See, I, I'm more dessert person, so it, it'd probably be a mix of like steak and ice cream like on the same plate if I had to. What do you enjoy? Um, I do like good steaks and there's a great place in Dublin called FX Buckley and it's just the nicest steaks ever so that's what I'd have I think. I would say a quarter pounder with cheese and chips. <laughs> um, uh, I don't know really, um, steak and chips. <laughs> oh god. I don't know why I'm even thinking about it. Roast chicken, mashed potatoes, the gravy, peas. I'm giving a full detail here, but yeah. A roast would be my final meal. <laughs> my last meal. Um, what do you think? Probably like, pizza is my favourite food. I'd say pizza. Yeah, just a decent pizza. What so song do you know all the wor words to? Any Arctic Monkey songs, really, so you wouldn't know them. Um, and now Super Trooper because I have to edit your video, so I know all the words now. <laughs> um, all the lyrics too. Um, it's stuff that you wouldn't know anyway. It's stuff like Snow Patrol or Keen or things like that. None. <laughs> Absolutely none. <laughs> um, you're not gonna ask me to sing, are you? No. <laughs> um. What song? Like lots of songs from Radiohead or U2, one of those. Uh, it's embarrassing. Gold Digger, Kanye West. Yeah. And Jamie Foxx, that would be the one. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know, there's a lot. Like, um, probably anything like from the noughties, like all the classics, like, you know, yeah, probably anything, even like I know all of Cardi B's and Nicki Minaj's and all the rapper kind of stuff. Um, yeah, they would be probably my go-tos, yeah. Who is your celebrity crush? So, God, <laughs> this is so embarrassing. I love Logan Lerman. 
if you've ever seen the perks of being a wallflower. Oh, yeah. I love him. Yeah. I love Ezra Miller as well. He's been very out there, very different, and he's just very structured. And Tom Hardy, everyone says it, and Johnny Depp is an absolute babe, so. <laughs> <laughs> Celebrity crush. It has to be Michael D. Higgins, like. <laughs> Actually, really. Um, no, I actually don't want to have a celebrity crush. Um, I have no idea. I can't even remember <laughs> back that far. Um, I suppose everybody loved Kylie Minogue in the 1980s, maybe. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, boys are disgusting. So, um, oh, I don't know. I do know Leonardo DiCaprio. I love him. I do. I love him. Celebrity crush. Hmm. At the moment, you know, your man, um, he's in The King and he's in a couple of Little Women. Do you know Timothy Chalamet? Yeah, he's probably, and I love anything with Matthew McConaughey in it. Do you have any hidden talents? Hidden talents? Um, I'm trying to think, like, you all know my whole life story, really. I'm double jointed. I can, you know, join that there. I can do. A shamrock shape with my tongue, which <laughs> what else can I do? I can draw people for a living, like <laughs> <laughs> my own business, like so. That's good. It's not really a hidden talent, like I don't know. You, you know me, Titty. <laughs> um, not particularly. No, nothing that she hasn't seen already. No. <laughs> um, not really great at sport. Um, no, I'm kind of pretty much average at everything I would have thought, yeah. Um, talents? I don't think so, I'm not very talentless. I can do a very good Yoshi impression from Mario Kart. Hidden talents? Um, I suppose the farming is probably one and travelling the world with it on Team Ireland. Um, so that's one of my hidden talents. Um, I don't think I have too many more. What would students be surprised to find out about you? I've tattooed many people, which people don't know. Yeah, I've tattooed myself. Um, wouldn't recommend. Um, <laughs> I have my own art business, you all know that because you all follow my page. Um, I do website design and I'm a graphic designer on the side for people with over 80,000 followers on Instagram and another company, 20,000 followers and I work with my dad because he has his own printing and embroidery company so we actually work as a team on the side for fun. <laughs> <laughs> um, again, I think I share most things with you. Um, surprised to find out, maybe when I was younger I used to play a lot of sport and uh, I actually achieved five All-Ireland medals when I was younger so that's something that I'm proud of, but I, I don't often share. What would students be surprised at? Um, I don't know, really, like, I'm kind of, I think, relatively an open book. Um, I don't think there'd be any major surprises. I think kind of what you see is what you get. Um, yeah, I don't think there'd be made any, no, there would be no major surprises, no. And that I'm normal. <laughs> 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 yeah, I'd say a lot, a lot of students think teachers are just teachers when they go home, but they're not, you know? So. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I don't think, I think I'm more, more or less an open book with you, really. <laughs> yeah, particularly what you'd be surprised to know about me. Maybe, no, my age, maybe? I think you know my age, so do you? Kind of. <laughs> I think so. 23. So, so I feel like that's not that much of a shock. I don't think there's anything really about me that's surprising. I'm fairly boring. <laughs> <laughs> I've travelled a lot, maybe that's about it. I've been to a lot of countries in the world, so. Um, oh, I don't know. I really don't know. Um, I think there's probably no surprises with me anymore, like, but. Um, yeah, I'd say a lot of students still don't know why I farm the weekends and when I go home during the summer, it's just. Yeah, it's farming and teaching, basically. Yeah, so I think a lot of students probably wouldn't know that. So that's all for today. Hope you enjoyed. We definitely had a good laugh now.
um, recording these ones with the teachers. <laughs> As always, if you have any recommendations or suggestions, please let us know. Thanks for listening. Bye.